Hey there. So yesterday we did this cool video with the uh, Power CLI VI Toolkit uh, plus PowerWF, and we ran some PowerShell uh, Power CLI scripts inside of PowerWF, which was pretty cool. Uh, but what I should have done and I didn't do, and I will do today, is to actually create one of those PowerShell workflow scripts. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take the uh, uh, this one liner that we were looking at uh, yesterday from uh, from Hal uh, uh, right here, and we're gonna recreate that inside of uh, PowerWF as a workflow. So from the very beginning, uh, the first thing I need is a, a connection to uh, to my uh, ESX server. So let's open up our VI toolkit and grab. You can do this with Connect VI server and use it as an activity, uh, but uh, I prefer to use the connection run space so I can drag things into it. And I, I know that things within this run space are connected to one particular box. So you have connection run space, you need to give it a uh, username and a password and a server. Oops, 168. Dot. All right, and the other thing we're going to use, we're going to we'll pipeline the commands together. So we're going to go ahead and put in a pipeline sequence, and that's where we're going to drag our commands. So let's take a look at our script. First thing we have is a get VM host. So let's just search for get VM host, and there it is, drag and drop. Now we, the next command is get view, so we'll search for get view, drag and drop, and there it is. The next command is a for each object, and this is what we're going to process on the for each. So I'll copy that, look for a for each object, drag and drop, and the properties go down to the process because we're going to do something and paste in that script, which is you know just look at the summary hardware. So that's it for running the command. Uh, but that, that data, uh, I'd like to see what that data is, and we'll go ahead and uh, shove that data into a uh, data grid. Just run, and we'll hit play. And this is the workflow equivalent of that script. And you see that there's the data in a data grid. I mean, you could have could have sent this data to Excel or you know created an RSS feed on it or whatever we want to do. Here we'll. I'll show you we, what we did yesterday is we put everything into a property grid and we deploy this to a, to an executable and run this in some other machine. Boom, there it is. So uh, the process of creating the thing, these things are pretty simple, uh, pretty straightforward, pretty easy, and uh, generally works. So. Uh, Hopefully this will be in uh, beta and you'll be able to play with this yourself uh, sometime later this week or early next week. Um, but thanks so much for your interest in PowerWF. We're really happy about that. Please give us some feedback. Please tell us what you like, what you don't like. Uh, and now's the time to, to shape us before we uh, we're 1.0, before we get to RC. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.